said something. Well, the whole time we were visualizing this game, and I couldn't sleep at all last night because I was dreaming of this moment. And Coach was just talking about this whole time. Just imagine you guys running onto the court, congratulating your teammates and cutting that net down. I couldn't have asked for a better way to not end it because we're still going, but to, I couldn't ask for anything more to be honest with you. So. I like was still processing it when he had told us and we kind of knew it was coming the NCAA the division one had canceled um, but I think you know just realizing that this was the last time that I was gonna be in this gym with the 12 girls that we've we've had a heck of a season and not even not only that just the past 10 plus years that I've been playing this that it's over and I really never realized during my last game that it was my last game was was kind of bittersweet um, I don't know. I was thinking about that last night. I was like, that's crazy. It's just a weird series of events. But um, I, I'm, I'm going to miss playing in this gym, but I'm, I'm grateful to go out the way, the way we did. Um, it was bittersweet. We got to, you know, coach asked us if we wanted to practice one last time, and we said that we would. And, um, you know, we just tried to have a good time. We, we scrimmaged for a little bit, not, not too intense. We had fun with it. But, um, and then we just kind of sat and talked about each other and, and, and just kind of embraced our last few moments as, as a team. Um, it's been quite the experience and I, I've learned a lot about myself and I would never trade it for anything. I don't know if I would, if I would do it over again, but um, I wouldn't trade it for anything. And it's, it's all about the relationships that you've built and I'm grateful for those. I, right before I walked in here, three of the girls in, in my nursing programs who play softball, lacrosse and our acro and tumbling, we have a, they made a group message about how like, you know, we're sorry our seasons are cut short, but was, we're all talking about how it's, it's great that we got to do what we love for so long and we got to build the relationships that we did and, and those are gonna last a lifetime regardless of how many games, you know, we were cut short, whatever it may have been, so. All right, so what happened was uh, we were upstairs watching our film for Cal, preparing for that game and then uh, after film was done, coach got a call and we were all kind of waiting, um, doing our stretching upstairs and uh, he opens the door and we're all waiting for him to break the news, but then he's like, all right, let's go downstairs and he grabs the box of shirts that he got us that says, GU our time and everything. And uh, he stops right in front of the gym and he says, all right, well, I just got the call and our season's over, there's going to be no game. And um, he told us how proud he was of us. and. Then we spent the next hour just running up and down the court, playing five on five, and just enjoying our time together and really just savoring our last moments of the season. Um, the thing is, like, this is such a universal thing, and I'm just so happy with how the season has went. Even if a coach at the beginning of the season, he said, I don't know if you guys are going to win anything, like, but you are going to set the foundation for like the years to come. And, the fact that we've won a PSAC championship, we get to put up two banners and we got to cut down a net, that was good enough for me. And we, I wish we could have gone more, but we ended with a championship win. And I got to spend the last day in the hammer mill with my team. You know, I'm so grateful for this season because this, I really need strength these first three years. And uh, this season really just validated everything that I've gone through and uh, everything that Chelsea and I have gone through. and. I'm so happy for what this team is going to do for the next com coming years. Oh, that was great. I mean, she lived vicariously through me in that moment. Um, she knew that. Well, just like me winning that was kind of like my whole family winning, winning that. And it does, doesn't matter that she wasn't a part of the team. It's just she's so happy for me. And like she knows like what I've gone through and like how tough like these first three years were for me. And this season really just showed how much it meant. Well, as a matter of fact, we were doing our uh, scout um, prior to our practice yesterday. Um, I got a call from our athletic director saying, have you seen the email? I go, no, we're in, we're in our meeting right now. She goes, okay. She said, well, they have um, they've canceled everything. And so, um, yeah, that's how I found out from my athletic director. I, very hard. Um, 
I've said this before, to me the biggest thing was the chance to be together again, the chance to play a game again, the chance to practice again, and, and just to be a team. I mean, that, that's what's so cool about this whole thing. And so my initial plan was, I found that on Duke Scout, we were going to practice, was like, you know what, I'm not going to say anything until the end of practice. <laughs> And, uh, and then as we went down, we had some surprises for him, some NCAA shirts that, uh, that we had ordered. And um, as we went down, I was like, I'm not going to make it through this practice without telling him. So, so we were waiting for Cal to finish. And, um, and so we met out in the lobby right before we were walking on. And I said, all right, everybody come here. So I said, they've canceled everything. And I said, so, uh, uh, and I couldn't even get it out. I think I said, they've canceled the tournament and in my mind as I told you I wanted to have pra I was hoping we could have practice again you know and I literally said they've canceled everything and and um, I don't know who it was but two or three people said can we still practice <sighs> I, I, that was awesome so we went on and um, uh, we they wanted to play they wanted to do a couple fun things that we do in practice and um, and then they played a little up and down and then we just sat at midcourt and we just loved on the seniors and, and um, thanked them and told us our thoughts and our feelings for them, um, prayed for them, and, and um, kind of ended the day that way. Well, we ended that, and then I took them to Chipotle for dinner. <laughs> so we had dinner together. <laughs> That's where it, what everybody was really upset about it was the fact that uh, Chelsea and Haley, that this is, it, and to be honest with you, that had we had that experience, this is what. When it's the end of the season, whether we would have played a game and won, or played a game and won the national championship, or played a game, our last game and lost it, in that locker room we don't talk about basketball anymore. It's not about basketball. It's about, you know, in this case Chelsea and Haley not being with us and our team not being the exact. It won't ever be the same. You just people leave and people uh, come into the program, and each team is a little bit different, but. Um, to have the legacy that those two have left the program, um, their their servant's heart, um, their care for their teammates, their leadership, it's made a, a true impact on our team.